Small Business Week, Conclusion of the Lip Sync Battle, and Spirit Week Photo Compilation. All that more on this week's episode of Coffee, Coffee on, on the, the Couch. couch. Hey everyone, welcome to another week of Coffee on the Couch, episode seven. seven. Wow, the number of perfection. Yeah. <laughs> so this better be a perfect episode. <laughs> um, before we get started today, I just want to draw attention to Hannah's feet. Um, she's wearing some nice shoes today, and it's so right. important for a female to have their feet shown apparently in photos and videos. That's because right. I guess they just want to have a whole body look. Yeah, oh, you okay. don't you don't want to look like you have no feet. Before we got started, she was like, Caleb, uh, please make sure my feet are in the shot. So, Are they in the shot, Caleb? Sweet. Good, good job. Okay. So getting started today, <laughs> we're going to have a special, uh, a good show for you today, a special interview starting out with our very own uh, Keith Inman, HCC employee. Uh, he's going to talk to us some about our registration that we have going on. Cool. So Keith, we got you on the line now. Um, just want to know, is summer and fall registration currently going on? Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's short and sweet. I like it. Uh, so, uh, Keith, uh, should students contact their faculty advisor or success coach if they're interested in registering? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, and if they don't know who their faculty advisor is or success coach, is hcc-advising at haywood.edu where they need to email? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Keith, you're very insightful, man. I really appreciate this. Uh, you being on it and, and doing this, but you know, I literally think, would you say yes to just about anything I ask right now? Yeah. <laughs> Is the UNC Carolina Tar Heels not the best team ever? Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a trick question. Thank you so much, Keith Inman, uh, for, for being on today and thank you for helping us out with this. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So, Hannah, I think you have something to talk to us about in regards to our lip sync battle. Yes, so we are coming down to the very end with our lip sync battle. So, we want to encourage you, if you have not yet, go to our Student Life and Wellness Moodle page. We are coming up on the championship. So, right now, um, Final Four um, and then the championship, the date to vote will be May 12th. So, that's the cutoff to vote in that championship round. So. Um, we're excited to see who's going to be the winner of that battle. It's been fun to watch and I, I'm impressed seriously with, with the videos that have come out of these students and faculty and staff. That's right. And so we actually have the final four going on till Thursday and then after Thursday starting on Friday, May the 8th, we'll have the championship uh, round posted and you'll be able to vote on that until May the 12th and we'll announce the winner uh, next Wednesday, uh, you know, when we record the new Coffee on the Couch show. Just to let you know, the final four right now is Miss Kira Farrington uh, with her Get Back Up Again rendition. We also have Isaiah Hatcher with his Misty Mountains rendition. I believe that's from The Hobbit movie. Okay. Um, our campus development team performing Everything is Gonna Be Alright. And then Carter Gibson performing the Pitch Perfect Melody. So if you haven't yet, go check that out, Student Life and Wellness page. Make sure you vote. Uh, yeah. and we're, so we're excited to conclude that. Also wanted to, to announce that whether you knew it or not, this is actually, or was supposed to be Small Business Week. Um, it's something that we do every year around the country. It was actually postponed this year because of the current situation, but we are still trying to honor small businesses just the same. And something you may not have known about Haywood Community College is that we actually have a small business center uh, that is a very thriving uh, part of our college. Uh, our director, Katie Gould, does a great job meeting with local entrepreneurs, whether they have a business already established or they're thinking about starting a business. And so to try to spotlight our, our small business center. We did a quick interview with Katie today and so if you could let's just watch that interview and hopefully you'll learn something about our small business center. And good morning Katie, how are you doing today? Good morning Dr. Coleman, I'm doing well, I hope you are. That I am doing as, as good as I possibly can I guess you'd say during over the circumstances. Um, thank you for joining us today on our Coffee on the Couch segment. Um, we just wanted to spotlight you as the director of the Small Business Center. Um, as you know, it is uh, Small Business Week. 
Mm -hmm. um, I know nationally it's kind of been postponed, but we are still celebrating it uh, all the same and, and uh, supporting our small businesses of uh, shopping local is more important now than I think it has been at any time in the past. So if you could, I just have a couple of questions for you today about uh, what you do about the small business center. So if you're game for that. Yeah, let's get started. All right. Well, the first of all, I just wanted to, uh, to ask you, so uh, Small Business Week is something that we try to celebrate every year. Why are small businesses so important to our economy? Our small businesses are your mom and pops. They're your sucker coach. They're the one volunteering next to you at the open door. They are the one that's uh, just helping at an organized event within the community. So they're members of our local community. So our small businesses make our community so unique. They are the reason why we have such a strong tourism market in this area and why we love to live in the mountains. So in addition to the abundant natural resources that we have that make this place absolutely gorgeous, our small businesses give us that vibe. They give us that sense of place, that quality of life component. These are individuals that had a creative idea. They had the entrepreneurial spirit and they took that risk. So they took that leap and they, they took that leap for our community and the betterment of our community. So that's why I am such an advocate for small businesses because not only are they persistent, not only are they idea thinkers, but they thought, you know what, let's take a chance on Haywood County. Let's take a chance on this community. Okay, great. So tell us a little bit about the Small Business Center, uh, Haywood, uh, Haywood Community College. I know that this is something that you'll find at most uh, community colleges. Mm -hmm. You know, for our community that might not know that we even had a small business center or what it even does, just kind of tell us some about that. What are you? What is it that you do? Gosh, what do I do? Um, I help people take an idea or in a passion and turn it into a sustainable concept. So an actual um, career, an actual opportunity for the betterment of the economic development mix of our community. So I help idea people turn their ideas into actual concepts and then sustainable concepts for long-term um, betterment of livelihood, financial growth, or just quality of life. Awesome. So I am one center of 58 across the state, which means I have 58 colleagues that get the awesome opportunity and the joy of working with small business owners across the state of North Carolina. We are state-funded entities, so meaning that our services are actually free for the most part for those looking to utilize them. So. We offer one-on-one -on -one confidential counseling, so small business coaching. You have a business coach to meet with at no charge to you to help guide you through your small business journey. We offer educational seminars, webinars, and summits. At this time, we are completely online, but we have a ton of virtual training opportunities rolling out. And in addition to that, we offer resource referrals. So if you need a specific area of expertise that is outside of our skill set, let's say you have an idea that you want to take into product commercialization that may be better suited for our counterparts at the SBTDC PTAC and tech commercialization team. So we get you, suit, uh, you, get you matched up with the um, resource provider to help you with that area of expertise. In addition to that, I keep saying in addition, it's, it's awesome. We've just continued to build this program. We have a guest counseling team. So we have five guest counselors in addition to myself that you can also meet with. We have an attorney. We have someone with a managerial accounting background, outdoor products, specialty, business acquisition and sales. It kind of runs the gamut, but it's really opened up the opportunities for small business owners, both current and prospective, to engage with a business coach to continue to develop their idea. That's awesome, Katie. So about, and I know this is hard to, to necessarily quantify, but how many small businesses have you helped over the years? Uh, you know, do, do you even, is there even a number that you can put out there? I don't even want to put a number on it. I think the best thing to say is how many businesses have helped us? How many businesses have helped Haywood County? I, I think if you take that leap and you're willing to engage with a business coach, to really solidify that idea and continue to develop it and really work on long-term sustainability for the community, I think they're helping us. I'm just a piece of that puzzle to help coach them along and, and encourage them and be their cheerleader on the sidelines. So how can people, maybe they're just finding out about this great service today, how can they find out more? How can they stay connected? How can they get in touch with you to seek out advice, find out about workshops? What's, how's your way to connect? 
easy. So SBC, so Small Business Center, sbc.haywood.edu will take you directly to the Small Business Center website. We're also on social media, so Facebook and Instagram, LinkedIn, and you're welcome to call the office. So the office will route to me right now. You can get a hold of me and you can email me. So we are working virtually. We are here for you. Um, just reach out. Okay. So uh, get a little bit more personal for a second. How okay. has your journey been like? Uh, you know, what brought you to the Small Business Center? What's your personal journey been like to, to get where you are? I grew up in a small business. So I grew up in a woman-owned small business in the 80s and 90s. Um, my mom started a business. Um, she did government-type contracting work for a while. And um, I learned quickly what entrepreneurship means to a family. So what a good day was when you celebrate and what a bad day was when all hands were on deck to make that business thrive and survive. Um, I think that ingrained the entrepreneurial mindset within me. Um, I then went to Berea College and was introduced to something called Entrepreneurship for the Public Good. We got to work on social entrepreneurial ventures, working with rural communities to help build infrastructure and asset mapping and entrepreneurial spirit where, where uh, a major economic driver had left and left environmental destruction and economic destruction. So working with both the for-profit and then just the community development side continued to really foster my passion for entrepreneurship. I then had the amazing opportunity to work with the Chamber of Commerce and just work in this community and continue to develop sense of place when I returned to North Carolina. And then I met Sharon Donahoe, who ran this program, I think for 25 years prior to me, if not 30. And she built this amazing infrastructure. And after meeting with her and seeing what she did, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. So I went to Western to get my master's in entrepreneurship because I wanted to do this. And then Sharon built this amazing program and I was so blessed to step into this, this infrastructure. And I, I say that I'm standing on the shoulders of giants because she built this great program and it gave us great foundation to continue to grow. So I love small business. I see the impact they make on our community, both economic and community development side. Awesome. So you mentioned the, the Chamber of Commerce in there. Why is it so important for the community to support our local Chamber of Commerce? Your chambers are your connection points. So uh, we have a unique mix at our local Chamber of Commerce because we are the Chamber of Commerce and the EDC. And then we're also tied to the Asheville Blanco market. Um, you have an amazing resource at your fingertips and it's, it's engaging with that resource that will make the most impact. Networking with others, building your connections, continuing to find those resources, those that you not only can gain information and, and um, improve, from, but also that you can give back to. So it's that give and take and that continual growth. On top of that, the chamber is connected to the, to the um, North Carolina Chamber, the U.S. Chamber, and getting up-to-date information. So rolling out the resources that you need, especially during this, this current economic climate. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Katie. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add that you haven't already got to touch on? I, would, I guess the best thing to add is resiliency. So we talk about building business resiliency with our small business owners right now. I mean, this is a period of uncertainty. We're all navigating it to the best of our abilities, but the goal is to establish long-term and short-term goals. So on the other side of this, whatever this looks like, what do you want to be? What do you hope to be? And I think that's both for businesses and for us personally. So what do we want to be on the other side of this? And then backing up from that and doing the 30, 60, 90 day planning, 30 days, what do I need to accomplish? 60 days, what do I want to accomplish? 90 days and setting those bench benchmarks for us is whether we're a business owner or someone seeking a career or someone finishing their education or a faculty or staff member. It gives us um, focus. It gives us direction in spite of uncertainty. And I think it's the dreaming, it's the creativity, it's the continual goal setting that will really build resiliency both in small businesses and in our community and at Haywood Community College moving forward. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, Katie, thank you so much for, for meeting with us today. Uh, I know you're an asset to the community college, you're an asset to the community, what you do, and the resources that the Small Business Center offers is just second to none. So just thank you so much for what you do. I hope this helps spotlight.
to the community and I'm sure there's a lot of people that had no idea, but we're hoping to enlighten them on, on what it is that you offer. So thank you for being with us today. Thank and you. I hope you stay safe during this, this time. All right. Bye. Thank you. That was a great interview with Katie. And I think a lot of people are going to be surprised at the type of services we offer that they weren't even aware of. And so just happy to spotlight her, happy to support local businesses. And so that takes us over to our community spotlight for this week. Hannah, you have more on that? Yeah, so we have a new business that we're spotlighting. I'm really excited. And if you can see, uh, my cup is actually showcasing the uh, business that we have spotlighted. It's Paper Town Coffee, uh, downtown Canton. Great, great little spot. Great people, great owners. Um, so be on the lookout for the video that's going to come out where we went down and we did some filming there with that couple. But also, um, you can get free cup. So don't forget, free cup of coffee when you show your HCC ID down there. So um, be looking, like I said, for uh, that video to come out on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. So Right, so just in, as a recap, you know, you can still get a free donut at, yep. at uh, Daylight. Daylight Donuts. You can go get a free cup of coffee at Smoky to, Mountain Roasters. Yes. Yep. You can get a free cup of coffee at 209 Hazelwood, uh, Haywood 209 Cafe. Or Milkshake. Or Milkshake. Yeah. And now free cup of coffee at Paper Town. So coffee on the couch wouldn't be the same without some free coffee going That's around. Right. So make sure you take your uh, HCC ID and participate in that as we continue to spotlight our community. Uh, yep. and, and, and Hannah, you mentioned YouTube. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube page. Yeah. You'll get notifications every time we post a new video, such as our community spotlight, our funny Fridays that we continue to do. And just want to let you know that our Honors Day video has now posted on our YouTube account. So you can go there to watch more about our Honors Day. So go check us out on YouTube at Haywood Community College. Very nice. Next up, Trivia Tuesday. This has been a lot of fun, and I know your family has enjoyed playing with us. We've had quite a, quite a bit of people log in and play with us um, Tuesday evenings at 7 o'clock. So coming up this next Tuesday will be our final trivia of the semester. We do plan to continue throughout the summer. It won't be every Tuesday, but we'll, we'll notify um, everyone as we plan to, to run some more trivia nights. But The Office is going to be the theme. So, Michael, I know you are a fan of the show The Office, so we're going to test your knowledge and see how you do um, on Office Trivia. I would, I, I would pull out my, my Dwight Schrute impression and say false, but that's actually a true <laughs> statement. She's a super big Office fan, uh, you know, and so if you haven't seen that show, it's, it's really funny. Uh, you can catch it on Netflix or the new NBC app when it comes out, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, as Hannah said, we will be doing that some during the summer. It will probably be like once a month, but we will be kind of winding down. Also, unfortunately, we're going to be winding down our Coffee on the Couch show over the summer. Yeah. We might do a couple of spots to keep you engaged with some upcoming fall activities, but for the most part, we'll be kind of pulling back some of our weekly episodes episodes uh, over the summer. We will be filming some things here at the college to do some program spotlights and things like that. But I think next week will probably be our last week for at least the spring semester. But uh, again, stay tuned to our YouTube channel as we continue to post stuff. And so to take us out today, uh, if you recall last week, we talked about our spirit weeks and we asked you for some photos of your favorite team apparel, uh, your funny pet videos or photos, and some photos of you sharing your family with us or who you're in quarantine with. And so uh, to take us out today, we have a compilation of those photos. I hope you enjoy. Hannah, that's all we have for the day. Yep. I'm Michael. I'm Hannah. And you guys stay safe and engaged. Bye.